<laughs> oh. Honk. 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 Look at them all. Yeah, don't say. I don't know how they survive with Lowe's and tractor supply. And all these stores used to be full. Believe it. And then the internet came along and yeah, it just gobbled up everything in these strip malls. I mean, <laughs> strip malls are a thing of the past. Large stores like uh, the Walmart Super Center here in Rome are a thing of the past. Actually, don't be surprised in the near future if the Walmart Super Center shuts its doors and uh, just the grocery section of the store will remain because online shopping is just killing these large retail stores. Huh. Kenworth? International? Kenworth? Freightliner? can't read that one something star I've heard of it before international star or something like that it's quite a truck hmm. huh. Monroe muffler is also here the moon is up there if you can see it huh. I gotta slow down this intersection is very bad That's going westbound. This is Varflex. Varflex, no trespassing. Which is kind of funny because there is a trail through there that leads to another trail that is uh, in the back. Uh, I've taken it a few times. In the summer, it's unadvisable because of, well, the mosquitoes, the deer flies, and the ticks. But uh, in the fall, autumn, and in early spring, yeah, it's it's some trail to walk on. It's a very easy trail, but uh, it's a very nice a middle of nowhere nature trail. I'm surprised that the city or the county doesn't get it black topped. Of course, they've talked about it for 20 years now, but they still haven't done anything. Typical politicians. Always good at talking, but heh, very retarded when it comes to action. This is the Indium Corporation. Not too sure what they do, but you can Google them. That's I-N-D-I-U-M. Now hiring. Huh. Indium. They said nice out tonight, but I don't know. I mean, the humidity, the clouds, it just doesn't feel right. Uh, this is all National Grid. Can National Grid own any more real estate? I don't know if it's a utility company or a real estate company. This is Egan Environmental Services. I think it's their dumping station.
and all those vehicles out there that are utility vehicles uh, most of them or all of them end up in the auction pen uh, they sell them to whatever whoever bids on them and I imagine quite a few of them end up in the junkyard but that's a lot of equipment and this area here is never empty it's just always full which kind of tells you how many vehicles national grid goes through that's part of your utility bill this is ups do i really need to say what ups stands for thank you <laughs> Let's just drive right in here. It's not like we're doing anything hostile. <laughs> they also have a uh, shipping service here. You can just dr bring your packages right in. But UPS, if there's a business in the city, you can actually drop packages right off at that business and UPS will pick them up. Quite like something. You don't know what's down that way. Kind of curious. Part of UPS, I think. There's also, uh, I think, an opening to that trail I just discussed. Uh, power lines. Power lines ruin everything. I mean, there you got a beautiful view. And then you got those darn power lines. I remember back in the mid-1980s, all of the science magazines, all the tech magazines talked about how all these utility lines would be underground or you would have wireless energy by the year 2000. And, well, here we are, 2024. And there's more utility poles and wires than ever before. <laughs> so much for technology. <laughs> I'd say the one good thing about it, though, is that there's less power outages. But, yeah, if you live out in the country, that just, that's not true. Folks out in the country still have a lot of power outages. Here come UPS. There goes oops. I'm not too sure what this is, but I'd say it's all shut down because they have a mode or anything. <laughs> Pretty obvious. Uh, this used to be the Rite Aid Distribution Center. It's now the Runnings distribution center for the runnings uh outdoor uh business outdoor company and it's a good size warehouse it's about yeah it's smaller than the orgill warehouse but if you measure it it's almost the same length as the orgill warehouse but the Rite Aid, the former Rite Aid warehouse you're looking at is much smaller than the Orgill warehouse. And I don't know what that used to be. All closed up and for sale, though. You know what? I'm kind of curious. Let's take a look-see. Man, look at that sunset. Awesome. Hmm. <laughs> I'm kind of curious what's in here. <laughs> probably come out of the other end and probably have a SWAT team waiting for me. 
Hey, no power. Okay, we got power lines. I don't know what this building used to be. If anybody has any answers, let me know. That comment section does come in handy sometimes. It's a big building, though. Big L. Hey, they got a basketball hoop. Can't be that bad. I just have no idea. This is a weird barrier type thing. I don't know what that's about. Weird. It's a good sized building though. Definitely for sale, I would say. Judging by the looks of the outside, the exterior, I'd say it hasn't been used in a long time. And that's right across from the Runnings Distribution Center. Bart. I mean, you got dark clouds, which definitely indicate some rain or sprinkling. But then, it is clearing up a little to the west. But behind the clearing is more dark clouds. I don't know. I think it depends how much the uh, temperature and the humidity drop after the sunset. That says a lot about precipitation. The Micro Seal Company, another building that is definitely inactive. <laughs> Either way, somebody needs to start mowing the grass around here. Codes department goes after residents if their grass gets over eight inches. Yeah. <laughs> Out here, and in the city parks, it's well over eight inches, and they just don't mow it. I don't know. <laughs> city government doesn't say too much. Big building. I think this used to be like a laundromat area. There used to be some sort of company corporate laundromat in this area, but they moved out. Last time I rode through here was probably about three years ago, so. Bally's Karate Studio. They've been here since my god, since I was in junior high, they've been here a long time. I don't even know who operates it anymore. <laughs> 